Praise God, praise God, praise God. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. I just kind of came on live unexpectedly. You know, I just kind of turned it on here for a minute. And I want to talk about real quickly. I want to talk about holding on to God, holding on to God, you know, and God is the author and the finisher of my faith and your faith. You know, God is the author and the finisher of our faith and just hold on to your faith. You know, he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. See, God knows when you are seeking him. And I just want to stay right there for a minute in Hebrews eleven six. God is a rewarder of those that are seeking him. And when, when, when we're talking about seeking God, we're talking about where our mind, our body, our strength, you know, everything we desire, you know, lines up with God's word. We're looking for him in prayer. We're looking for, for him when we read the word. I got a Bible here. I have had this Bible for about 20 years or more. And, um, and God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So I believe in 2024, some stuff is going to happen. And I'm going to just, just reiterate or go over the prophetic word that God gave me for 2024. And, and this word is just a, a word that God just dropped in my spirit. And as I was praying one morning and I, and I heard this, and it says like this, a powerful spiritual force is, is, has been unleashed that will bring about more in 24. And when I said this, when, when it came in my spirit, I recall when uh, Dr. Morris Cirillo said a powerful spiritual force um, is about to be unleashed in the body of Christ or, or released in the body of Christ that will bring about change, et cetera. I don't know the whole prophecy by, by memory, but... And so he said one day it'll happen, and but it's in my spirit that this year, 2024, a powerful spiritual force has been unleashed. Now, it's going to be, but it has been unleashed, meaning that in your life, in your personal life, the power of God is going to rise up upon you, and those things that used to defeat you in the past will not defeat you any longer. Those things that used to hold you back in the past, they're not going to hold you back any longer. Every demon of hell that was assigned against you, uh, let me tell every demon of hell, they're defeated against your life because the the spirit, the powerful spiritual force that has been released upon your life is going to rise up so mightily, is going to rise up so strongly that you'll never ever be the same man, you'll never ever be the same woman, boy, girl, or young or youth. There is a powerful spiritual force that has been reserved by God for a specific time and a specific season. And man, I'm in agreement with what I'm sensing with the Holy Spirit that 2024 is that time and it is that season. A powerful spiritual force is, is released and it's going to bring about in your mind a mindset and mentality that you never had before. Something has risen and will rise up mightily where you will wake up and look in the mirror and you will just, even when you talk to your spouse or talk to your friends or your children, you're going to know that you're different because something within just went to another level. See, if we have to change from within to be to be examples to those that are outside, uh, when once we change in Internally, we are effective externally, and the world will see. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. And I believe this powerful spiritual force that was released from heaven, that is going to be released in 2024. It was released from heaven that you're about to have more downloads from heaven. More downloads from heaven, meaning there's some revelations that are going to come to you. There's some revelations that are going to be just directly from heaven to you. And the curtains are going to be open. And any attack of the enemy that was trying to blind you, it is like God just kind of opened, took away the veil, opened your eyesight that you will have discernment to see. And so, and to hear 
in, this, in the dimension of the spirit. You're going to be able to connect from heaven and in your gut, in your heart, you're going to know that something divine and holy is happening to you. More downloads in 2024. Okay, more prophecies are going to be fulfilled. You're going to start knowing that in your personal life, somebody has prophesied a word to you, and you're going to start sensing the fulfillment of those prophecies. They're going to start coming to pass. It's going to be amazing um, because you. some of us have waited years, including myself, years for certain things to happen. But now the time has come where in 2024, we're going to see more prophecies fulfilled than ever before. Amen. That's all about, it's all about this powerful spiritual force that was unleashed in 2024. And as I, as I just said that, I'm recalling as I have it here in my notes, I'm recalling when the fishermen, they were out fishing all night. They toiled, they did the very best they could. But then Jesus showed up with a word in the morning. And he said, uh, throw your nets, your nets out on that side. It was daytime. And, you know, you fish at night, right? To, and they, because they were experts in fishing. And Jesus said something contrary. Jesus told them to do something different than they'd ever done before. And when they obeyed the word of the Lord, what happened? A net breaking anointing was unleashed and all of a sudden they not only had enough for themselves they had to call their friends bring the other boat over here and help us uh, just get all this fish because our nets are breaking and in 2024 i am believing god that there's a net break an anointing that cannot be stopped by any principality any power of darkness any wicked spirit there is a net breaking anointing that's breaking apart every chain anything that used to bind you anything that used to hold you back anything and act the, the devil can fight all he wants but for this purpose the son of god came to destroy all the works of the devil and on in this season of 2024 a spiritual powerful force has been unleashed and and oh rainbow ba masaka your words that will come out of your mouth will have a season and an ingredient an ingredient of anointing anointing that you've never carried before. Just like when Isaiah, he knew that an angel was released from heaven and the angel brought a, a carbon a, from heaven, a coal from heaven and touched the lips of Isaiah. Likewise, God is going to send an angel. Oh, that's right. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is going to send an angel and with a coal from heaven, from the from the most high God, and that angel is going to touch your lips and you are going to speak the word of God with such dominion, such authority, such power that whenever someone hears the word of God coming out of your mouth, they're going to know that is not the same man I used to know. That is not the same sister I used to know. This person is totally different because because a powerful spiritual force was unleashed in 2024. And it happened to Jeremiah. The Lord took his hand and touched Jeremiah's mouth. The Lord took his hand and raised up Jeremiah. And it even says, he even says, and I have it here. He says, I ordained you a prophet to the nations before you. I formed you in the womb. I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. And he, God is reminding us in 2024, before I sent you to the planet Earth, I had a plan in your life. There was a time and a season that certain things will happen in your life. There was many dreams and, 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 and the prophecies spoken over your life. But now in 2024, just like he told Jeremiah, before you were born, I knew you. And God is telling you, before you were born, God knew you. You were in heaven with God. But now he is rising up and he says jeremiah says i cannot speak but the lord said don't talk like that jeremiah any longer don't ever say i cannot speak anymore and so it says here the lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth said jeremiah and the lord said to me i have put my words in your mouth and see god this day this 2024 this moment he's putting his words in your mouth and I'm not talking about you reading the Bible and memorizing the scripture. That's great. You should do that. But what I'm talking about is God is putting his own words from the throne upon your mouth. He's taking his hand himself and putting his word in your mouth because 
You are the body of Christ. We are a team, and we're going to shake the earth for Jesus. We're going to populate heaven by winning multiplied millions and millions of souls. And the glory of God will be obvious. The glory of God will be evident. And in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess and, and declare Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And so get ready because God is saying it. He's going to do it. And, and no one can stop Jesus. No one can stop the master. And this is his year for you. This is his plan for you. You are planted on the hand of the Lord. You are his treasure. You are a royal nation. You are a holy priesthood. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. I don't care what it looks like right now. If God said it here in black and white, right here in his word, if God said it, that simplifies it. I believe it. Just stick to the word and you will know what I'm telling you. This word will not return void. This word will always be fulfilled. So get ready, child of God, for this is the year that destiny has come, that destiny has waited for, that purpose has waited for. This is the year, 2024. That is going to be the greatest year you have ever had. You will walk in that 10 times more anointing that Daniel walked in, in Daniel chapter 1, verse 20. And not only Daniel, it was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You will be walking in an anointing that is upon your life this year that you've never had before because God is rising up. And I'm telling you, I am telling you, get ready. It's going to be great. It's going to be exciting. Nothing can stop the hand of the Lord. Just stay consecrated, stay focused, and praise the Lord, for this is your time. I just want to release this over your life. Just lift up your hands right there where you are. I want to connect with you in the spirit. Just raise your hands right there where you are. And Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that you are a God of timing and a God of seasons. We know that you are a God of order. So, God, I thank you for this night. This night, oh God, to Rebaseke, January 15, 2024. As you have spoken, oh God, and I seal your words, God. I release it over your people, God. I release every good and perfect gift that comes from above. I release it over your people, God. I release every spiritual gift that your people have, God, that was dormant. I command those gifts to rise up and start being used for the glory of God. So I praise God for tonight. I kind of, you know, just kind of turned on my YouTube channel. And, and and I'm glad I did, because there's a power in this place. There's an anointing in this place. You're you're not you're not defeated. You're you're far from defeated. The, I, I'm telling you, you are far from defeated. Everything you are going through, and I'm sensing a word for somebody. Everything you are going through is because God is teaching you how to how to trust in Him 100. percent some of you lack some resources, and I hear the word, and I sense the word of the Lord. I am a supernatural God, son. I am the Lord. I am that I am. And I am just teaching you to trust in me and focus on me, for I will supply all of your need according to my riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You will see my supernatural hand of provision, meaning there will be income and provision coming into your life in, from areas that you did not expect. I release that over somebody tonight in Jesus' name. Now, if this word has been a blessing to you, you got to let somebody else know. You got to share with somebody else. Let's work with the Holy Ghost. Let's work together. All right? I, I'm feeling the presence of God. I praise God. Man, I feel like doing this more often. I hardly ever just turn on my, my channel here like this. I always do streaming on Friday and do anyway. I think I should do this more often. And, and if you think that is the case, send me a little comment. Say, Brother Fernando, yeah, you should uh, do a, a, a blog more often and, and let's get together. And next time we could chat while I'm, while I'm sensing the anointing. We could pray together. We could just, you know, hold hands in the spirit together and we're in agreement together. And when two agree, where when two agree in the name of Jesus, I'm not talking about a religious name. When two agree in the name of Jesus, things will happen. Demons will flee. Chains are broken. The power of darkness is defeated. 
and the name of Jesus is lifted up in our in our lives. So we agree in Jesus' name. Remember, keep the fire burning at all times. The fire must never go out. God bless you.